check this out in this muddy water today i caught a papil on my fourth cast using my okuma gear my um reel is a limited edition et gt reel and like i said it's dirty out here small hookup which is unusual in this muddy muddy environment look at that now it's going from right to left coming right up here well, i'll begin with some papil i did catch something in this murk look at that i caught a papil now this is a legal size fish i could keep it but I'm gonna let it go. There you go. All right, he's off. Now the reason I was able to release that jack, hopefully he'll live. I mean, normally that thing would have been dead already, but see that? Look at all the hooks, the tips of the trebles. I pinched them in. I had already pinched them in because when I had the four barracuda hits that one day, I realized that these were tearing them up, so I had to pinch them in. Now, there's nothing wrong having troubles. It means that you're going to have a um, solid hookup, but at times when you want to um, catch a release and, and that's what you plan, it's good to pinch them, them in ahead of time or change it out for a single hook. Thank you. I was going to go home already. The winds are bad. It's stirring up the bottom. Really couldn't do much. And then when I threw that lure out, the flanker, it felt like it snagged on a rock as soon as it hit the water, which I thought that's impossible There's no rocks in a couple feet of water where I threw it and then uh, about maybe 10 feet later boom it hit again So that was the fish hitting the lure as soon as it hit the water amazing 